look at the big picture, we're going to see some more rainfall coming up on Friday, but really quite quiet for our part of the world. <clears throat> this has produced some big thunderstorms in the past 24 hours, and they uh, fell apart, and they're starting to fire back up again over southern Louisiana, southern uh, Louisiana, and southwestern Mississippi, right along the Mississippi River. Uh, you can see some action there, and that low pressure area is going to continue on northeastward. But the cold front with that is going to continue, and it's going to drop on into our part of the world. Now, no rain is within range of our area. It's way on off toward Mississippi. Uh, so, again, we're not likely to see anything for a while, but Friday we're going to going to see some rainfall into the area. Overnight, a little on the chilly side, 43, 46. Well, really, I think we'll see around 40 degrees into some areas well inland. Here's where we are during the day tomorrow. Some mid-level cloud cover could roll through at times during the day, 53, 57, 59. I'm going to run 56 for a high temperature for the day on Thursday. Northeast winds becoming easterly at 10 to 15 miles an hour for the day tomorrow. Cloud cover moves in overnight and into Friday morning. And uh-oh, what is all of this? Well, we are looking at some rain to move on in. Now, the thing about it is that it's going to move in during the cooler time of the day. Uh, and it'll tend to stabilize the atmosphere. In other words, with the rainfall moving in, uh, there isn't as much lift uh, in the atmosphere by the afternoon hours and the heat of the day, so it'll lessen our chances of seeing severe thunderstorms into the area. So that would be some good news. There's a, a marginal risk, though, still of some severe thunderstorms into the area, so you'll still want to watch what goes on with this. We'll see some breaks in the rain uh, coming up during the day. Those are around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. The really solidly warmer air is behind this warm front by Friday evening at 7. But you'll note, again, there's not a great deal of thunderstorms, not, not a big amount of thunderstorms at 7 o'clock. There's some scattered ones into the area, but a south-southeasterly wind, uh, more of a southwest wind behind the front. And that cold front, by the time it arrives, uh, the thing about it is it'll be the middle of the night. It'll, so uh, severe weather would be more, uh, more unlikely with a cool front dropping on through. There's where we are at 11 o'clock at night. We move on into the day on Saturday. There's our Saturday morning, Saturday at 3 in the afternoon. We're still going to be in the 60s for Saturday, even regardless of that cool front. Sunday, into the low 60s throughout the area. Uh, so, again, not bad weather coming up. Uh, it'll be cool tomorrow, the chilly tonight, 39 to 44 degrees for an overnight low. It'll be cool tomorrow, warmer on Friday. Good chance of rain, though, as you saw on our future track computer model. Uh, on six, Saturday, it's going to be 66, a little cooler Sunday, and uh, temperatures warming back up into the 70s in the next week.